Hello, my name's Erwin Rothenberg, and today we're going to discuss why you shouldn't take lab safety for granted. One of the top priorities for every laboratory should be the safety of its employees, facilitated by creating a culture of safety consciousness and accountability. Managing safety is more than having a top-down list of do's and don'ts. A safe laboratory environment requires involvement by everyone. It's about having strategies for prevention, an awareness of your individual laboratory environment, and of the potential for accidents, as well as taking responsibility when action is needed. So while there are universal guidelines for safe laboratory practices, each laboratory's policies and procedures should reflect particular considerations of hazards arising out of the use of its own instrumentation, testing requirements, physical structure, workflow, and traffic patterns. Now we're all familiar with general safety guidelines. Always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Wash your hands after working with potentially hazardous materials and before leaving the laboratory. Do not eat, drink, smoke, handle contact lenses, apply cosmetics, or store food for human consumption in the laboratory. Follow the institutional policies regarding safe handling of sharps, Take care to minimize the creation of aerosols and splashes. Decontaminate all work surfaces before and after work. In addition, decontaminate all potentially infectious materials before disposal. And report any incidents that may result in exposure to effective materials to the appropriate personnel. However, an effective safety program must also incorporate the now standard phrase, if you see something, say something. Too often I have heard people say that they were aware that there were problems, such as a slippery spot in the break room, a loose leg on the phlebotomy chair, an unstable shelf above the work area, and yet they said nothing assuming someone else would notice it and fix it. Take personal responsibility before someone gets hurt. Management can provide all the education and protective equipment in the world, but an employee deciding to ignore safety rules will do so. Every individual makes the decision to follow the guidelines or not. Ensure that anyone seen acting in an unsafe manner is taken aside, coached, and not allowed to continue that way. Anyone repeatedly ignoring safety guidelines and putting fellow staff in jeopardy should be encouraged to choose a different place to work. Thank you very much.